How long have I been a Bill's Canna fan? Oh, uh, maybe about three weeks now. So uh, welcome, welcome to what I like to call the bot cave. Uh, what we've got here is your maximum setup for achieving bot vibes. Uh, I've got everything on here so that I can continually check for updates. In fact, I think it's been long enough. We can, we can refresh all the pages here. It's not looking like there's any new tweets. Do we have any new likes? Okay, it doesn't look like there's any new likes, so we can move on to the next area of the room. So over here is what I like to call the vibe corner. This is where I like to stand when I want to get some good Bach vibes. Uh, so when I'm listening to the old tunes, I can really just stare at any picture that I want to, and um, we can get any particular vibe we'll be looking for. What does it mean to be a Boards of Canada fan? Well, I think it makes you a better person, just for starters, because you're more in tune with nature because all their records are about nature. You can hear there's uh, like birds and, and stuff on it. So I really feel like I have a stronger connection to the world around me that a normal person just wouldn't get unless they were listening to Boards of Canada. Okay, so sometimes uh, to get maximum Bach vibes, I like to uh, play music out of my tape recorder just so that you get the maximum Bach vibes available to you. Um... What's my favorite song? Easy answer, Roy G. Biv. I mean, it's got the most plays on Spotify, so it has to be the best song. It's a good vibe. Their worst album, that's well, definitely Campfire Head Phase. It's so boring, like, they don't even do any like fast beats or anything. It's just like stupid guitars. Yeah, I'm really hoping they drop the box set next. I've been waiting for that for a long time. Do I think they're gonna make another album? <laughs> uh, yeah, obviously. I mean, MDG has never lied to us before and he keeps coming online. So that's like a really good sign that something else is gonna happen. And I mean, all my previous theories have been wrong, but this one that I have currently, I think I feel really strongly about. The, the date that I have for the new album drop is gonna, is it makes so much sense. There's so many different numbers and dates that line up with this one that it can't be wrong. Some serious block lines for this view, man. I gotta make sure I post this one on the Reddit. Have I ever done drugs? <laughs> uh, every time I listen to Boards of Canada. I mean, if you haven't listened to Boards of Canada on drugs, then you haven't listened to Boards of Canada. It's just really emotionally rewarding, you know, to be to be a Boards of Canada fan. To be able to appreciate scenery like this. It's just such an eye-opening experience. I don't think anyone else can connect to nature as much as someone like me can, you know. I'm really just much more in tune with the earth and a lot of drugs. Of course they still make music. They say they make music every day. What? It's been nine years since the last album. What's my favorite Boards album? Well, obviously it's BOC Maxima because it's like music has the right to children, but it's in lower quality. So there's way more Bach vibes in it. It's been five minutes. I need to refresh all their sites again to make sure there's not been any uploads. Does anyone say, what the fuck? Keep the Bach vibes going. There's no new posts there. Are there any new Twitter likes? There are no more Twitter likes. Okay, we can go back to Bach vibing.
I don't know why Warp just doesn't tell him to make another album. Like, they're the ones that released the music. Duh. If they wanted another album, they're going to tell them to do it. It really doesn't make a lot of sense. 